To begin, log into Face Search and select Search Face. With the Intelligent Web Interface, click Browse to locate an image locally on your network or PC. This could be an image sent via email, gathered from social media, or available from another source. If you're on a tablet or mobile device, you may also choose to take an image using the camera on the device. If your source image is off-axis in any way, you can easily make adjustments to improve matching performance against controlled images, such as those that may be from a jail management system. Simply click on the arrows to orient the model to be similar to the source image. In this case, our source image is very good, so we'll skip this step and ignore. You can apply any number of filters to your search, including the agency, in the event you're sharing face image data with another agency, alert type, state, county, gender, race, and hot list source. Now let's execute our search. In this agency account, we just searched over 920,000 images for matches against our source face. You can see the results are ordered in terms of confidence. And we have several positive matches. Clicking on View Detail gives us additional information on our subject, including the reference of the hot list image, in this case a sex offender registry. We also have other images associated with this individual, the same ones seen in the query results. All other data contained in the hot list is included with the record, comments may be added, and the image can be verified as a match. You can also search against the hot list image data without using an image. Click on View and then View Hot List. In this example, let's say an informant gives you the name of Patrick and that's all the information you have in an investigation you're conducting. And let's say this is happening in Missouri. Make the selections. Click View. You can now see all individuals with Patrick somewhere in their name that are located in Missouri. From this, you be can begin your investigative work to try to connect the dots. You could also use this information to create a photo lineup for a victim or a witness.